Magic Squares 4 Part 4. We're going to fill in a 6x6 six six magic square. This is a bit more complicated than the other ones. We can't just use a straight out a method we used in uh, the 4x4. Four four. But I've divided the 6x6 the six six into 4 3x3 three three, uh, squares. And we're going to fill in each of those using the Siamese method. I'll we'll start with the, the purple square at the, at the top here starting with the number one and then we go down here to two then we're going across here to three and then along the diagonal four five six seven eight and nine then we'll go across the blue square starting with ten then going down 11, sorry, 11, 12, and then 13, along the diagonal, 14, 15, 16, 17, and down here to 18. I'll just make that uh, a bit better, that one. Put that out. Put in the 11. Okay, now we'll go up the top and we've finished at 18, so we'll start at 19. So 19, down here to 20, across to 21, 22, along the diagonal, 23, 24, drop down 25, go across 26, and then 27. Go across the green one, the final one, 28, drop down to 29, go across here to 30. Right, then we've got to go to along the diagonal, 31, 32, 33, drop down 34, 35 and 36. Now this magic square totals 15, this one totals 69, this one totals 42, and this one totals 96. You want to check those out. Now this makes the columns fine. They will all add to 111, but not the rows. The rows don't count. So we've got to make a little adjustment here. So what we're going to do is we'll do a little bit of swapping. And there's not too much to swap over. I'm going to swap the 8 and the 35 around. So I'll just start off with that one first. We'll get a bit of rubber. There's the 8 there and the 35. And we'll just swap those over. So 35 goes there. And the 8 will go there. And that fixes that row up. Right. Next thing we'll do, we'll swap the 4 and the 31. Swap the four so the thirty one goes there and the four goes there. And now we go into the second column and swap the five and the thirty two. I'm going to swap here the five and the thirty two. Okay, so thirty two there and the five goes there. If you want to check this out. That means that all the all the rows and all the columns will now and the diagonals will now total to 111. Interesting thing about that is the total number altogether is six times 111, which is 666, which that number appears in the Bible in a couple of places, and uh, some people think it's an evil number. There's a bit of a history behind this magic square because of its uh, of that particular number. All right. Well, I hope you like that and. Thank you for watching.